Okay, good morning everyone. So today we will be doing our plate number three, which is the line with ortho mode commands channel plate. So this one, channel. So in here, we will be mastering the ortho command. So this will allow you to draw a straight line, horizontal and vertical line while using the line command. So there are no other ways of your course except going up and down and right and left. So the way to turn it on is by using your status bar here. Uh, this one. You can use F8 or you can just click this. So if it turns blue, it means it's turned on, it's activated. So to draw this activity, you will be using ortho off, so you could input the angle. So in inputting angles, there are uh, different ways on how to do that. So I'll show you that one later. You may also um, type first the distance of the line, then press tab for you to input the angle in degrees. So first, let's draw this um, channel plate by doing the outer lines first so you have a 1.25 and another 1.25 so let's do this first so l enter click your first point then enter the dimension 1.25 then do it again click enter then 1.25 and then another 1.25 so Escape or spacebar or enter. Then let's have this 30 and this 20. So highlight, offset. We have 0 0.3. And escape again. Then you highlight, offset. We have 0 0.20. Same with the bottom line. Okay. So we already have those. Next thing to do is our angles. How did we get this one? So we have um, 1.25 from here, a uh, 1.0, 0 0.25 here, and a 0 0.25 here. So let's highlight this one, offset, 0 0.25, it's here, let's also have 0 0.25 here, and a 0 0.25 here, and then let's create a line from here, going here. Again, here, going here. So we have that. Let's delete those construction lines. Let's move this a little bit further here. So you can do this actually if you're on ortho. Then trim, double enter, so you can trim continuously. There you go. Next, let's have this one. But we have to check first if our dimensions are correct. Let's have this one. 0.25 it's also 0.25 okay we're good on that now the angle you could use this one angular there are a lot linear aligned angular arc length let's use that one in here you get choose one line and the other second line so see, there's 135, 45 degrees, that's also 45. Same with this one, let's delete this one first. 
let's use the other way to check your angular dimension. You click dimension, then you can choose angular here. Same thing. You got 45 degrees for this angle. So we are on the right track. Okay, so the next thing to do is this one. So we'll have um, 1.25 offset here and another 1.25 offset here. So remember, it's a 45 degree angle. So let's have those offset. Zero offset. Enter 0 0.125. We have that and this one too. And this one as well. Now let's have the line here. Same with this one. I'm not turning off my ortho, that's why it's like blickering. So you may um, turn off your ortho when doing um, slanting lines. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I deleted that one. So let's trim. Okay, so there we have it. Let's check first the dimensions is what I've said. Okay, we've got 1.25, we got you, we got you. Okay, now let's have the angle. So this one and this one. So it's a 45 degree angle, so perfect. Uh, okay, delete that one, delete that one. Now let's move on to our uh, I mean this one, this part here. So how are we going to do this? So we have a 1.25 here. So we have a dimension of 15. So let's just half, uh, half of this and half of this. So we have 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and 0 0.375 minus um, 0 0.2. That would be a 0 0.175. So we have to create this one. So let's do this first um, line. So let's have this line interconnected. Offset of 50 of 0.25 and up another 0 0.25. 0 0.25 and another 0 0.25. Okay. Here, we're making this one. Okay. So you can actually extend this using these blue icons. Oh, yeah, let's just extend it. So let's delete. Uh, Let's delete this one. So we only need a uh, one point seventy five, so we can offset this one. Zero point one seventy five. We have that, and we also have that. So let's trim, double tap. We already have that one. This one. Let's trim this as well, and this one. So let's just extend this. Should you can just put it here, then just trim, double tap. Okay, now I'm seeing a C. We have this here. Now the next thing to do is this one the 45. Oh, I deleted the line in between. So we can just offset this one to use as our construction line. So that is 1.25. So we have it there. Let's extend this. 
you highlight then just move it across so this is just going to be a reference line for our angle so we have um this 45 degrees we already have this one we need um, another line going here to determine um, our angle our 45 degree angle line just input zero point five shift angle let's have forty five degrees okay we have that so we can trim Let's do the same thing here. Again, line like this. Line. So it should be um, below. So let's have 0 0.5 and shift angle. Maybe we can have it negative 45 degrees. So you have there. And then let's just trim that one. Okay, let's delete this construction line. This one too. Then let's trim. Okay. And now we have our C channel. So let's put the dimensions first. If we are correct, okay, we have five fifty. Our dimensions too big. We can adjust this one through our dim style. A dim modify. Text height, we can decrease this more. Mm. Yep, and the arrows as well. Can have that. Can also decrease this one. Text fit. The lines. Zero, zero point three. So we have that okay. Set current. Okay, we have that. So again, let's do dimensions. Dimensions. We have this. <clears throat> you can actually adjust uh, for it to become like this since we're do dealing with three decimal and um, Two decimal places you can just uh, double click that one later so our ortho needs to be turned on so we can have uh, straight lines so to do this one pala you just collect this one then you enter 0 0.5 so you just have that it's just similar here ah, 0 0.50 pala So you have zero. Okay. 
as long as the dimension's there, it's fine. Let's have this one. Okay. One, two, five. You can edit this one. Just, just do the editing later on. Okay. Also have the one point the seventy five. The one point twenty five. there and then what else am i missing the point three and point two so we have in between here and here we have that one we also have the point two then Point two here as well. Now let's have this one for the one point twenty five and the one point twenty five here and the fifty here. Then let's have the angle. Angular. Uh, this one and this one. So you have that one. Same with this one. There you have the 45 degree angle. So we're almost done. So let's just um, edit the the um dimensions so just double click here 1.25 we also have another 1.25 here and a 75 here 0.75 then another, we have 0 0.25 here, same thing, I think that's fine, here should be 0 0.20, have 0 0.30, and a 50 here, 0 0.20. Five zero. Okay, so this is our C channel. So if you have problems about the plotting, you know what to do. You just scale it and then you edit the dimensions. So that's it for our plate number three.